Okay, so the right hand one was your before. Right. As we can see, you look very full setup ish yeah. there, to be fair, as if you're going to hit a full shot, 80, 90, whatever yards and stuff. And we're trying to go 25, 30. Okay. Yeah. So you're not setting up for the shot you want to hit. Taking back the club, not a full swing, certainly, but, but still yeah. a lot longer. I mean, again, if I said to you, where was that club in relation to you, you probably think it's about here anyway. So it does go back further in any case, but yeah, a lot more power than you want. That's looking at someone probably getting. 50, 60 yards of yeah. power. Well, now you've got to try and take off 60% of the power coming yeah. back down, which involves just kind of like stop and scoop. Your legs trying to sort of kick in to try to get under the ball, that sort of scooping yeah, sensation. Yeah. A bit of a cupping here with a sort of please get under it, generally That's contact. Yeah. yeah, you're trying to lift the ball up in the air. Mm -hmm. Where in reality, you want to be set of setting up, that was just outside your full stance, but you're just bringing your foot in, as you can see. This now is the sort of narrower, small shot setup. If we look at the two sort of stances there now, they do look very different. All I would say, address there with the club shaft, you have it a little bit more towards that back leg. Yeah. It just needs to be a little bit more. Again, not too far, mm -hmm. just a bit like hands forward. Again. I think you do start moving it a little bit there as we sort of say, yeah, there, yeah, just about the camera there. There you go, yeah, that, yeah. that little movement there. So you are getting a nice bit of shaft angle there. Now, it just helps that club come down at a better angle. Ball up in the air. Okay? Yeah. You get the leading edge of the goal club, that sort of bottom groove of the club. Mm. The base of the ball, like your toe kicking a football. To try and yeah. the ball, your toe's got to be hitting the bottom of the ball going down. You can't be toe punting up, can yeah. it? So it's the same kind of principle in terms of that, okay? And then in terms of backswing, just create less power. Okay, that's probably still longer than what you thought it was. Again, you probably think it's somewhere around here. But that length backswing, good strike on the ball, as we can see. And you can turn to the goal, but not small. This, this looks a small shot, okay? And again, in terms of that kind of clock face position, if we said, as we said at the start, six o'clock there, seven, eight, nine, ten, or whatever, yeah. depending on how far back you go. So if you go here, which would be some of the shots in the yeah. room there we'll go to now, there's kind of your five, ten yard chip. There's your 20 yard chip, 30 yard chip, 35 yard chip. Whereas before you were looking at, I mean, yeah, it's just <laughs> way too much. Yeah, exactly. Well, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's just a, a, big, yeah. a big old swing and more power created than you really want. And then your brain's sort of going, Oh, hang on, I've got to try and take this power off really quickly to try and adjust to it, okay? So creating the power you want to hit, again, you'll learn that through time, but it'll be a lot easier to judge distance when your strike becomes it has become more consistent. Yeah. As we said, if you hit the ground behind the golf ball here, you lose a lot of yardage. More so in the winter when the ground's soft, yeah. it's not going to go very far at all. So if you're hitting the ground behind the ball, your club's coming down in here, hitting the ground, and then bouncing the golf ball. If you then try to miss the ground, because well, I duffed the ground last Damn. time, you rise the club, hit kind of top of the ball, and the ball whizzes across yeah. the green like a rocket, and it's like, well, I did the same amount of energy, and the ball's gone yeah. 70 yards, not 10 yards. So now you, you can feel, how hard about the next one? Because it's like, well, hang on, what, what shot am I going to get? Down and, you're and then you exactly. And again, if we're slowing the club down, we haven't really got much control. It's like riding a bike, you ride a bike really slowly, it's like, yes. you're gonna wobble and, move and lose balance, okay? So keeping that club face accelerating through, but that's something you can't do when you're back there. If you accelerate, it's gonna go 70 yards, 60, 70 yards, and it's just, your brain goes, no. Yeah. So you'll, you'll do something to try and stop it, sort of like sort of coming in here, sort of going, to try and just flick it and just, yeah. just hit a softer shot. So set up for the shot you want to hit. And I guess this width of stance is probably up to about sort of 30, 40, maybe 50 yards. You could go back a little bit wider as you get to that 50-ish area. Yeah. It's not sort of like narrow and then full. There is kind of like sort of small little gaps in between that, but you'll just kind of get comfortable. As the club starts swinging more into kind of this area, yes, the stance might need to get a little bit wider yeah. just because the swing's it's longer. Healthy, yeah. Exactly, but generally speaking, Think of it in terms of long shots, and you have a long shot setup, which is basically that, yeah. and short shots, and a short shot setup. There is in between sort of yeah. medium where your foot could be here yeah, or here or whatever. Yeah, but you just learn that as you play yeah. more and more stuff. Okay, make sense? Yeah, cool. Yeah. Cool, good stuff, right.